Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we're back with another Total War Warhammer video. Three videos in one day. It's been a busy 24 hours. But you see, there's something we need to discuss. Recently, I released a video in regards to Total War Battles Warhammer. Not a lot of people did see it, but that's understandable considering that there's not that much interest from my subscribers on a Warhammer-based mobile game. However, there is something which could potentially affect Total War Warhammer, more specifically the third and final game of the series. The following is a clip from the recent Total War Battles Warhammer livestream. It was a private stream and just hear me out, listen to the whole thing and then we'll discuss. So uh, the, the third question would be uh, how much of the game are you willing to bring to life? For example, something like Daemons, uh, Daemons, Orge, Orge Kingdoms and Kisei. That's, that's a huge one, right? Like, we do notice there are a lot of races and factions in the world of Warhammer. But currently, as Sean had just said, our product just began. And we, our main focus right now is just the core races we, we want to release for our kind of official launch. Yeah, talking about this part, I think we are definitely very ambitious. You know, we, we, all, we definitely want to bring the whole uh, Warhammer Fantasy World into our game and uh, on the mo on the mobile definitely, but you know it takes time. It definitely takes yeah, time. Sure. You know, you, you could say even in the PC version, uh, after so, uh, after so many years, yeah, is there still still so still, many? Yeah, still uncomplicated. That's true. Un 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 so, uh, but, but yes, we will do it. Uh, but we gotta do it uh, uh, little by little. Just like what you mentioned, like Demons, Art Kingdoms, and, and Kasei, we will consider it, definitely we will try. Yeah. Kasei is a really interesting one. Yeah. <laughs> and also, our updation update is really dependent on you guys. Hey, as so long as you guys supporting us, we will make in this, right? Cafe was mentioned a few times in this clip, which is rather interesting, where even the developers said that this is rather interesting. So maybe they're hinting towards the possibility of Cafe featuring in Total War Battles Warhammer. And yes, we're talking about a separate game, but what does that potentially mean for Total War Warhammer 3? Okay, so for this, we're gonna have to go very tinfoil hatty, and it might sound a bit strange, but bear with me. Cafe is much requested to join the Total War Warhammer universe. It is known that Total War Battles Warhammer is a new license acquired by NetEase from both Games Workshop and Creative Assembly. It can be assumed that NetEase would not be able to create Cafe without the specific permission from Games Workshop. Of course, this is a country in the Warhammer Fantasy universe that has not been explored that much. There is barely any lore, and I believe little to no concept art. So why would they be saying that they're willing to create something for Cafe? As I stated before, they would need direct permission from Games Workshop. As far as we are aware, that Total War Warhammer itself requires Creative Assembly to work closely with Games Workshop in the creation of new races and factions, where they specifically said that in regards to the Vampire Coast and more so for the original legendary lord, the opera singer Diaphin. So this looks like there is indeed a possibility to see Cafe introduced into both Total War Battles Warhammer and Total War Warhammer 3. I highly doubt that such a largely requested race from the Total War Warhammer community will make it into a mobile game and then not in the main form of title, as obviously this Total War Battles game is supposed to be considered a connection to Total War Warhammer. And yes, once again, I understand this is very tinfoil hat, but let me give my reasoning towards this. Well, first they said it could be interesting. They've not specifically said yes or no. However, when it comes to the case of a race not being included, for example, Araby in Total War Warhammer, usually they say there's no current plans. So the way this was worded makes me believe that there might be some sort of cafe in the works. I mean, there is a specific quote there where they state that they want to bring the whole Warhammer Fantasy world into the mobile game. If that is the case, they will need some concept art to work from, 
And what better than Total War Warhammer itself? Seeing as in the livestream they did state that they did take a lot of inspiration from Total War Warhammer. I might be looking too much into this, but I honestly believe that one cannot exist without the other. Especially since Total War Battles seems to be a side thing to Total War. Again, of course, different studios, but it has the Total War name, so I'm assuming that they have to be linked in some way, shape or form. It could obviously be some sort of developer slip-up. I don't know why they would be willing to answer that question when they could have easily ignored it otherwise. But what do you guys think about this? I think there might be some sort of hint in here. I'm not 100% too sure, but then again, it could be very possible that this is testing the waters for a future DLC for Total War Warhammer. Let's just be very clear here, if Cafe is going to make it into Total War Warhammer, it should be added after the core races, at least in my opinion. Kislev, Dogs of War, Ogre Kingdoms, Chaos Dwarves, Chaos Demons and so on should come first. I wanted to have this video out a lot sooner, since it's been a fair few hours since the livestream ended, but I must admit that I had to bounce ideas back and forth from my subscribers on Discord as I wasn't too sure if my claims had any validity to them. Of course, this is pure speculation at this point, but I don't know, it just feels like something is there. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and let's start a bit of a discussion. I'm rather curious to see what you guys think. I hope that this was a hint towards the future. Even then, it will be a while until we're aware. But with that, my friends, we've come to the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, might I suggest giving the video a like, or even subscribing to the channel, as it really does help us out. In the description section below are various links to different social media platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, and Discord. Also in the description section is an affiliate link with Element Games where you could buy loads of hobby based products, not just Warhammer, for 10 to 25% off. Making a purchase using that link and also our special code, which is also in the description, supports the channel at no extra cost to you, which we think is rather cool. A big thank you to our patrons, your support means the world to us, it's amazing that people want to help a small channel like us grow and get to our higher level of content. A big thank you to Gibraltar LUSC, Ryan Birch, Andrew Prince and Okro for subscribing to us at our fame level, you guys are super cool. And a big thank you to Edward Yule, VS Fasan, Aaron Whitman and Shaggy for subscribing to us at our king level, honestly we can't thank you all enough. And lastly, a big thank you to all of you for liking, sharing and commenting on these videos. Honestly, it's because of you guys that the channel has been growing at such a great pace lately, so we can't thank you all enough. But with that my friends, thank you so much for watching once again, and we shall see you all again very very soon. Have a good day.